The project I'm working on, it's called Ubuntu, meaning I am because you are. It's also from uh, the Zulu language in South Africa. And it's just like Mikasa Sukasa. The project creates a gathering space for the celebration of women, particularly those living within South Bronx. And it also uh, maps our migratory journey. Um, I participated in the storytelling uh, with a group of women, and it was really inspiring. I think this type of program should continue, bringing women together, sharing our ideas, and also reminding us where we come from and where we're going. The challenges that we face is not the end of life, but we have to strive further until we achieve our goal. Ubuntu consists of the fabric installation of the room. It also has another layer, which is the portrait of women within the community, which mimics the idea of looking at your neighbor or your friend as yourself, the idea of looking into a mirror. It also has the workshop part, which is where we create spaces to share stories and know our neighbors. Sometimes it's very emotional when you remember the past, but you know, you also have to build yourself and get stronger. And uh, I really learned from the, the, my fellow women, the, the women who were with, with me on that day, we discussed together. And you hear other people's stories and it really empowers you. After we finished telling the stories, we talked among ourselves, we exchanged ideas, and we laughed over it. Fabric pieces are sourced across the world and in New York, across our five boroughs. And especially, like for the past six months, I've collected a huge uh, number of fabrics in South Bronx, which is a collaboration between myself and uh, other community members to build this wall. We put it together, mimicking traditional wall arrangements. Another layer is when we enter into a community for the installation, we mimic the nature of the surrounding. So here I'm mimicking the idea of planting and how a seed grows from one stage to another. So we started from a corner and then build it gradually. It took months and months mimicking nature. I hope this is going to be an ongoing program. A lot of women have stories but they don't have the avenue to express themselves. So I was able to voice out my feelings, I was able to share my thoughts with others and we have to get the stories out.